Greetings everyone and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On December 7th, a knitwear fashion show featuring items created by renowned Korean fashion designers using materials produced in Kyungi opened online. Titled the 2020 Kyungi Knit Fashion Show, this nine-day event, which marks its eighth occasion this year, was organized by the province with the aim of promoting the provincial textile industry through the provision of marketing opportunities. Due to the pandemic, this year's event is being run in a non-contact format that is also expected to help establish a new marketing paradigm. Peace on the Korean Peninsula was the subject of a discussion among youths during an online talk show that was broadcast live on December 5th. Topics discussed during the show, referred to as the Youth Talk Concert on National Peace, included lives of North Korean youths, implications of Joe Biden's U.S. presidency for the Korean Peninsula's future, measures urgently needed to restore inter-Korean relations, and inter-Korean cooperation policy ideas. An outbreak of bird flu was reported on December 7th in Yeoju City of Kyunggi Province. On the same day, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung visited other farms and a quarantine center in the area to view the situation firsthand. During this visit, Governor Lee asked related officials to intensify quarantine and prevention activities to curb the spread of the disease. While Kyunggi Province is operating Korea's first certification and management systems to screen genetically modified organisms, also known as GMOs, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung offered assurances that the province will prevent disguised GMO food items from appearing on the tables of residents. This statement was made during a meeting with related experts and public figures on December 7th. This meeting was organized by the province to introduce the province's non-GMO certification and management systems and to discuss the role of the province in assuring resident food safety. Kyunggi Province recently announced plans to develop Pangyo 3 District as a New Deal pilot city. The New Deal pilot city will serve as an encapsulation of New Deal initiatives being pursued by the Korean central government and the Kyunggi provincial government. These initiatives encompass the development of data, 5G, artificial intelligence, and non-contact technology industries, as well as the establishment of low-carbon infrastructure, the promotion of innovation and job creation, and the provision of stable housing for youths and newlyweds. When completed, this New Deal pilot city will become part of a large advanced and innovative district of 1.65 million square meters. It will also become a precursor to other advanced technology clusters that the province currently plans to develop. On December 9th, Kyunggi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung and the police commissioners of the northern and southern Kyunggi districts signed an agreement to cooperate in the eradication of illegal real estate transaction schemes so as to protect resident properties and ensure fairness in real estate transactions. According to this agreement, the provincial district police authorities will undertake the investigation of related illegal activities while the provincial administration will provide the police with necessary agency and transactional information. Kyunggi Province has been investigating human rights violations that were alleged to have occurred at Sangam Hagwan, which was used as a juvenile shelter and correctional institution after national liberation from Japanese occupation. The province recently revealed the results of its investigation, determining that nine of the ten alleged victims did suffer serious human rights violations, including beatings. The province will conduct further investigations to establish the complete truth regarding the related cases. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.